It's a great day, my amazing CEOs. Imagine that you're in the back of a cab ride, and as you're going down the road, there's a woman back there, and she's meticulously trying to paint her toenails, okay? This is the back of the cab. And as you're watching her, you're like, you know what? This person is really struggling. And, and the struggle was when trying to paint their toenails, um, you find yourself in a situation where it's kind of messy, right? I've never painted my toenails, but it's very messy. Now, Fall Park, as he was observing this, he was someone who always had the, the goal of being a, a dancer. And, and so as he saw women struggling using nail polish, he said to himself, aha, there's a problem. There's got to be a better way. Now, you fast forward 20 years. He's been planning and plotting. And for 17 years, he's been trying to come up with a method that allows folks to be able to paint their nails or paint their toenails or fingernails in a way that's not stressful, in a way that's a lot easier, in a way that's not time consuming, in a way that doesn't take as long. And he had failure after failure after failure. 17 years. Can you imagine that? You're going after your dream for 17 years and it doesn't work. Finally, he founded a company called Color Street, and he did something called a nail polish strip. Now, this all-in-one revolutionary idea, which was having nail polish that were strips that could go on, woo, it was a game changer. And matter of fact, in 2021, he generated $119 million. I mean, that's a lot of money. I mean, 2017, that's a lot of money. The next year, 2018, he doubled that number and it went to $320 million. Now, what's the big takeaway for you as a CEO that you can walk away with? Number one, once you identify the problem, the next best step is to have a sales system that allows you to share that problem with the world and your revolutionary solution or your solution in general. So you need a sales system, you need sales leadership, and you need a sales infrastructure that supports your mission, your goals, and your objectives because that allows you to fund what you want to do and purchase the resources that are necessary to execute the vision you have for the people you were called to serve. You do that, and just like Far Paw, you'll see your sales go up, 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 and away. With that being said, my name, by the way, is Shay Brown. Welcome to the CEO Sales Huddle. Every single morning, I like to start off with a, a mantra. And maybe you do this when you get out of bed, and maybe you have a mantra for your gratitude, or maybe you have a, a mantra when you're um, saying your prayers in the morning. Maybe you have a, a mantra for just being thankful. But the mantra for your sales organization, for you as a CEO and you as a leader and everyone else that's a leader around you is, if you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. As a matter of fact, I want you to repeat that after me if you can. If you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. Why? Because sales is the oxygen for every great business in history. And without sales, there's always more money going out than there is coming in. The point I want to make is that sales is really, at the end of the day, sales is serious business. Say it again. Sales is what? <laughs> serious business. <laughs> How true is that? How true is that? So, now we're going to move over to our pledge. We have a mantra every morning, and then we have a pledge. And I want you to repeat the pledge after me. This is not no hokey-dokey, folky stuff. This is real. As a CEO, our pledge to our organization is I must learn, earn, and return. In fact, repeat after me. I have to learn something new in order to earn new revenue from current clients in order to get new and old clients to return. I must learn, I must earn, and I must return. Now, that's important. But as we move over there, you might be wanting to say, what are the objectives? Why do you get together every single morning? What's so important? Where does it all stand? Well, first, if you don't have your CEO sales dashboard, I'm going to encourage you to go download that right now. You can download CEO sales dashboard. We'll talk about that in a minute over at www.ceosaleshuddle.com. But our three objectives are sales progress. You show up every morning because you want to make progress in your sales. Number two is address any roadblocks out there. We understand there are roadblocks out there. And number three, to understand the five sales pillars that every CEO must know and understand in order to be successful. Sales pillar number one is you must have a one-page CEO sales plan. Make it easy, just one page. Okay, if you don't have one, you can go over to www.ceosalesplan.com. Number two 
You must understand your sales cycle. Now, the sales cycle is the customer journey. That's not a new idea, but I want you to look at yours right now. And from the time that you connect with the client to the time you communicate, maybe in the community with their potential client to the time they're ready to convert, what does that look like? Number three sales pillars. And right now we're going over the three, five sales pillars that every CEO must know and understand. Number three is sales message. There's a message that we take out to the market as sales professionals to solve a problem. Number four is the CEO sales dashboard. I can't wait to get into that. We're going to go into that in great detail. That's always fun. It's always amazing. And then obviously number five is you must have a sales team, right? You must have a sales team. So what is our outcome? Why do we get together first before we do that? Everyone that's watching right now, do me a favor. I love to connect. I love to tune in. I like to pause for a moment. And ask you to look right below the video. And as you look right below the video, put a hashtag, I'm here. You're tuning in. You're in this conversation right now. Put a hashtag, I'm here. Um, I can see you, but you can't see me. And I would just love to connect with you, by the way. And if you're out there watching and you're watching the replay right now, thanks for tuning in. Go ahead and put hashtag replay. I appreciate you. Maybe you can't be here at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but you're here now. You showed up. Thanks a lot. And for all the folks who are out there right now, and you're watching online, you're on Roku, Apple TV, you download the podcast, you're on Spotify. We appreciate every single one of the comments. You can look over and look right below. There it is at at I am Che Brown. Shoot me a DM. Let me know you're in the conversation. Let me know what you enjoy and how we can even add more value to help you go to the next level and where you want to go. So I'm super excited about that, by the way. So what is our what is really the purpose of the CEO sales huddle. The purpose of the CEO sales huddle is a place where CEOs gather to understand how to sell more faster. So you, you're gonna be able to sell, I get that. But the question is, how do you sell more faster with less effort, by the way? What's our big why? Our big why is all about sales growth, sales accountability, and sales consistency. And accountability is very important. Even when you show up on this call, on this broadcast, whether you're listening to the podcast right now or you're watching online or maybe you're here with me live right now, the consistency part is you're in the conversation. You're looking at the sales organization. You're spending the 15 minutes a day. Now, we only ask for 15 minutes a day. That's all the CEO sales huddle is. Sometimes go a little over, sometimes a little less, but 15 minutes a day. So there are 1,440 minutes in every day. You're given 1% of your day as a CEO to the one organization that generates the revenue, that brings in the cash flow, looking at the sales systems, reviewing the CEO sales dashboard, measuring, managing, and making it better. So 1% of the day is all we ask for. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Thanks for being here. What is our number one outcome for you showing up, for you being here? Well, yeah, I want you to have the revenue. I want you to have the resources. But at the end of the day, it's a goal. It's $100,000 a month plus over and beyond whatever you're earning today. So there's an on top of $100,000. You add that on top of it. And now you have the revenue to purchase the resources that are necessary. Now, of course, you have a sales system. You have a sales strategy. You have sales infrastructure, which is really cool, by the way. But the only way to do that is the measure. And one of our golden rules is what gets measured gets managed. What gets managed gets better. So I want you to take a look right now. Uh -oh, wrong one. Doot, doot, there we go. We're going to move over to the CEO sales dashboard. Now, I love the CEO sales dashboard because this is a time where we get to measure what's working in the business. Now, there was a problem. The huge problem folks had was, hey, what are the five pillars that I should be measuring? Now, they didn't call it five pillars back then. Back then, when I was first doing it, it was just a matter of, Shay, what should I look at? I mean, I want to measure it. I want to manage it. I want it to get better. But there's so many areas of sales. It seems so complicated. And I said, you know, of all my years of doing this, there isn't a place to go to. But what if as a CEO, you could open up a dashboard? You could look at it. You could see the progress that you made not only yesterday, but the, the prior week, the week before that, the month, and the last 90 days. And you can allocate all the resources that you need. Now, in the sales organization, we only need three things. We need people, processes, and tools. That's all we need. And so you can allocate that to the department when we need it the most and you can supply it. So let's look at those five key areas. If you haven't downloaded the CEO sales dashboard, you can go over to www.ceosalesdashboard.com. Go ahead and download it now. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up so you can see it right there. Now you go ahead and you go ahead and pull yours up. Like seriously, like open it up right now. 
it's a, it's just, I mean, like right now, and take, I don't know, we take about maybe two minutes to do this. And I want you to look at the categories. There's leads, appointments, offers, deals, and repeat business. Now you would go across the top, all the way across the top. And as you go across the top, I want you to look and say, okay, how many leads came in yesterday? Now you can go category by category. In the time we have today, I want to, I want to focus on one category. I want to focus on deals. So you scroll down to deals. Now, some of you are can't put in your offers. Some of you have your assistant that does this. Some of you have hired someone and you're paying someone pennies on a dollar, I'm sure, um, just to get this filled out and it's turned into you. And there's others. I want to acknowledge you. You do it on this call. I got a message yesterday that um, they really touched my heart. The person says, Shay, every time I tune in, it forces me to open up. Now, I'm not trying to force anybody to do anything. I don't think that was the person's intent. Um, but they did let me know that by being in this conversation, the best use of their time was going back and open up the CEO sales dashboard because it makes the biggest difference. So, so you open it up. Let's go look at deals. Now, there's, there's subcategories in here, by the way. And you think about it. Yesterday, how many deals closed? Not many how offers you made, how many deals closed? And you can put the products there if you want, if that's important to you. How many deals are in what we call pending status? And I like to look at pending status because maybe you, you had a conversation and they're going to close in the next zero to 10 days. Okay, to me, and it means different things, different folks. That's a hot lead. OK, maybe they've got to review the contract. Maybe they got to get their ACH number or wire transfer information over to you. Um, but it's going to close. Got it. Then there's warm leads. Warm leads to me are those folks that are seven, I mean, 10 to 20 days out. So when you pulled it up, you look at it and say, OK, I got some warm leads. They're 10 to 20 days out, whatever that means to you. And then there's what I call the cold leads. <laughs> You're getting back in 30 days or more. And when you get back together, you've got to build trust. You've got to build rapport. You've got to remind them how you can solve the problem and reinforce, not the sense of urgency, but the difference it's going to make when, when they're on the other side. So now we move to another category that I love to do every single morning. This is something, this is part of, of who we are, and that is celebrate wins. So we don't just show up every morning just to beat you up and say, oh my gosh things aren't right. Things are always perfect. No, no, no. But we do acknowledge what's working. And I believe that's what makes us unique and different. It's a, it's a standout. I think it's most important. And it's one of those ones that, that means the world to me. So let's look at celebrating any wins. If you go back and look at yesterday, what are you most proud of in your sales organization? What was the biggest accomplishment in your sales organization yesterday? And what's the one thing that you would just want to brag about? If you could brag right now and come on here and brag about yesterday, what would it be and why? And then we go, we say, well, life ain't perfect. Get it, Shay. It's not always perfect. Understand that. And then we're going to go take a look at our biggest challenges. So look at yesterday. What was your biggest roadblock yesterday for sales? What is preventing you today from the sales group? And what's the one thing you can do that if you did it, it would move your business forward right now. It would just move the needle. What would it be for you right now? And go ahead and write it down. Write it down right now. Write it down right now. One of the things we know is that powerful people ask powerful questions because questions steer focus. And in this life, you get exactly what you focus on. And so my message today is focus. My message today is focus. My message today is focus. Focus by keeping the main thing, the main thing. Sales is the only thing, not the main thing, that generates revenue. Go back and focus on the, res the progress you're making. Look at the metrics in your CEO sales dashboard and then allocate the resources in the areas that need it the most. You do that and you will see your sales go up, 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 up in a way. With that being said, you're amazing. You're awesome. You're an incredible CEO. You're a game-changing CEO. You're someone that's making an impact in the world. And I know with 100% certainty, as you're watching me right now, your best is still yet to come. We ain't seen it. Your best is yet to come. Your best is yet to come. With that being said, it's been an honor and a privilege to serve you. My name is Shea Brown, and I'll see you, well, on the other side. God bless.